I was talking to a fellow keyboardist the other day, and he was like, man, sometimes I hate playing with pads because I feel like the droning never ends and it gets super muddy. And after talking to him for a little while, what I realized was he was playing with his polyphony all the way up. And it's a really simple thing, but I want to show you how to adjust it so that as you're playing, certain notes kind of organically um, die out. Now, of course, there are other things you can do to clean up your pad sounds. I've got some links below uh, to some videos that talk about that, but in this case, I want to talk about limiting polyphony on your pad sounds so that you get things sounding a little bit more clean. If we haven't met yet, my name is Brett Pontecorvo. I am the face behind LiveKeyboardist.com, where I help keyboard players just like you thrive in a live performance environment. Let's have a look at limiting polyphony. So right now what I've got set up is a really simple piano pad. And this pad sound um, right now is set to eight voices, but I want to demonstrate kind of what happens here. So in analog, if you go to the, uh, the master tab here, you'll see voices and priority. Um, and these two parameters work together to tell Ableton how to phase out old notes that you've played. So when I play this C and this C, I'm playing two right now. Now when I play my third note, it's going to drop out the first note. Now you'll notice you don't see it on the uh, instrument rack because that's the MIDI entrance, but you can kind of hear it if you listen. I'll do it a little bit uh, lower and higher so you can hear the extremes. So the last note that you play gets dropped out. Now imagine if you have 32 voices and you play a chord like this and you hold down the sustain pedal and you go like this. All of a sudden you have all of these notes happening at the same time and maybe that's what you want, but maybe that is too muddy for you. So a really safe way to do this is just to click eight voices and I like to leave uh, priority at last, but um, if you weren't gonna do that, I would choose priority low since those are generally your bass notes. So let's have a listen now, same situation. So I've got eight notes playing now and when I go up here, it just pulls them out. So if you're doing that with your piano patch, it really helps to keep your pad sound kind of following after your piano patch. Um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next week.